Hello, I'm Jeff Gold, and welcome to this segment of Under the Microscope. Today I'm joined by a very special guest, and that's Mr. Matthew Martens. And Matthew is one of the UNMC graduate students. I understand a first-year graduate student. Is that right, Matt? That's right. And so uh, we're here today to not talk about graduate school at uh, UNMC, but to talk about specifically your experiences uh, with the United States Army and in the USAMRIT facility. So maybe first of all you could tell our audience what USAMRIT stands for and then we'll talk a little bit about what you're studying. Absolutely. So USAMRIT is the United States Army Medical Research Institute of Infectious Diseases. It's this uh, fascinating place. It's out in Maryland and it is, um, as you can probably guess, associated with the Army and it's where they do a lot of biomedical research, um, particularly with biodefense and with um, emerging infectious diseases, so potential outbreaks and things like that. So they do all sorts of amazing research there um, in conjunction with national security and it's a very different experience than something that you would get um, really anywhere else. So it's on the Fort Detrick campus, as I recall, is that right? It is, that's correct. And so uh, how does that very highly focused infectious disease research, all of the vaccines and, and uh, antiviral work that's being done there, connect to your graduate studies? In other words, how did you get involved? So um, my, my involvement was really uh, kind of unexpected. Um, we, I rotated, or I should say, I did my undergraduate research with um, Dr. Paul Davis, who was instrumental in kind of helping set all of this up. At UNO. At UNO, yes. Uh -huh. um, and Dr. Davis um, actually was in contact with the, some of the staff from USAMRID. And um, through a you know, long series of processes, he uh, came to ask me, since I, my undergraduate major was bioinformatics, he said, well, would you be interested in going out to Fort Detrick and seeing kind of how you could use bioinformatics in maybe a different setting um, and possibly paving the way for a future career opportunity? Mm -hmm, sure. And so then that ties back into UNMC because um, my um, PhD right now is in immunology pathology and infectious diseases. So that meshes really well with what I want to do, especially because it gives kind of another, an idea of another option besides, you know, a lot of people think PhD means going into academia, but having the opportunity to work for the government and try something a little bit different was a really cool experience. So are you actually living in Maryland? Yeah, we lived there for eight weeks um, over mm -hmm. the summer from um, June to kind of the beginning of August. Um, and that was a really unique experience as well. Cause that, and can you tell our audience what it is that you study? Um, so I studied... Um, if in it's top secret, of course, you know, <laughs> oh, no, I, no. I get it. Um, so in, in, the, in the broadest terms, I studied um, pathogen discovery with Dr. Mike Wiley. And so what we did was we took um, samples from our um, collaborators kind of around the world and we screened them to see if we could find new viruses. We were looking specifically for RNA viruses. Mm -hmm. And um, we wanted to see potentially if there are any um, organisms that could serve as environmental reservoirs possibly for outbreaks and also to see if we can find anything new that might um, come up and become an infectious disease for humans. So are you the first grad student to have this experience at USAMRIT from the Med Center? Um, so actually uh, Maggie Bartlett. Um, sure, I met Maggie year. when yeah. I was there. She's fantastic. Um, she was there first and she kind of was the very, very first preliminary guinea pig. She was um, the forerunner. She was, she was, exactly. Um, and then I went out this last summer with um, Austin Sanford and Tom Schultz mm -hmm. and we were kind of the first students who were in a more organized version of the program. You know, it's slowly coming together and it's really cool to see it. So do you think uh, if you were giving advice to other students, particularly students interested in careers in highly infectious agents and this kind of thing, was this a valuable experience? Did, you, did, did this open your horizons or, or expose you to stuff you weren't exposed to in the past? Oh yes, absolutely. Um, I had never even been aware that government research, especially um, on a government base, was something that was possible for me to do as a PhD student at UNMC. And it was really fascinating to see how different that experience was than in you know a traditional academic laboratory so it was a really positive experience and I would recommend if you have the chance to to try it and to see because you also get a lot of experience with more of the bioinformatics sides of things as well as with the wet lab. You think it'll change your career goals? Yeah. I know you still have a lot of options oh, yeah. to think through. 
But, but um, you know, it really already has. I'm much more interested in government work now than I was before. Um, I am actually really, that's kind of like at the top of my list now for being able to, um, once I'm done with my PhD. Well, congratulations, and thank thanks you. so much for being with us today. Oh, thank you for having really me. Really honored. And thank you for being with us today on this segment of Under the Microscope. <laughs>